Good afternoon. We are leaving spot six at Spread Creek. We are headed towards the Utah border, but not quite to Utah just yet. We got a lot to do in the next couple weeks um, before things get really crazy. When you decide to live a completely different lifestyle than anything you're used to, it takes time to find your way. Some that tried never find it. Some see what they want to see and go back to their old life or some version of it. Some find that they want land to call home. Maybe they build on it, maybe not. Maybe they still travel 10 months out of the year. The point is, it's been an incredible ride for Darian and I. But every journey has its crossroads, right? We've been asking ourselves lately, have we accomplished what we set out to do? And just what was that exactly? I think I remember. It was about the adventure, making memories, the people, the places, and living with more freedom than we ever have. Today's video is going to be different than what you're used to seeing from us, and we hope it might resonate with you as we dive deeper into this life. We've already made so many incredible memories in the short time we've been given. But all that comes at a price. We had to be honest with ourselves, and I mean brutally honest. Is it time to say goodbye to life on the road? No, no way. way. But here comes the being honest with ourselves part. It's become apparent that we need to make some major changes in order to make this life work. Major changes! In the RV world, we have some of the biggest decisions in the game coming up fast. If we're gonna make this happen, we gotta get started today. Keeping our costs down is priority number one. In order to tie up one of those loose ends, that means taking it back to where it all started. Iowa. We have a lot to cover today. Let's get started right now. Bam! We need to get some business done. We have a storage shed full of our old items that we were reluctant to let go of when we sold the house. After over a year on the road, we just don't really see an end in sight. And the items in it are highly replaceable. So we're gonna go back go get our items in there that are personal. Then it's going to be downsizing to a one car family. I'm gonna be getting the Forerunner all prepped for us to put on the market to sell. And we are just gonna be rolling with the Tundra. We wanna to be together in the truck and be game planning and doing these talks together. It's gonna be interesting to see how we can maneuver um, our BLMing navigating around in there without the forerunner. It'll be new for us. We're gonna drive six hours today. So we're not gonna drive all the way straight through. We found a harvest host. That's where we're headed to right now. We're set to arrive at this harvest host by two. The host said that they're not gonna be there, but they left us uh, good instructions on where to stay. All right, so another reason we love our harvest hoster is because this is helping us out this time around. We just got here. We've made it to our harvest hoster and it's awesome up here. This land is so big. 
They we're only doing it one night this time, but they do have the potential to allow you to stay for up to five nights, which we might use on the way back coming through I or coming from Iowa back this way. Gosh, words are hard. But anyways, they offer electric and water. We don't need the water, so we're just gonna be using the electric, but one reason why we love it out here in the Harvest Hills has been a game changer. Got it here, so nice and peaceful. All right, good morning, it's 7.30, and we are hitting the road early from our Harvest Host. Wow, what a great spot this was. We just got done getting in touch with some family members this morning and letting them know when we should be arriving in town. But it's always a little bit harder to predict when you're pulling a guy like that. It says nine hours. Here, let's take a look at the Garmin. Okay, so it says it's gonna get us there at 5.53. What that really means is like closer to eight. It's just how it goes. Onto I 80 West, US 6 West. Turn around, guys. I 80 West. Here we go. We finally get to Dare's parents. And after a quick, nice reunion, Dare just seemed to disappear for like an hour. Wow, and check out this free shower we get. Luxury. Towel, hair towel provided, face cream, personal toilet, a towel hook, and it's clean. No shower shoes needed. Opalette. Bam! Bondi boost. Time to get spoiled. Sergi figured out how to roll down the hill. Dropping in to see our son Blake race his Firebird was so much fun. Blake's going to take his dad out. Time trials. Firebird. And in the right lane is Blake Breeze. See you later, man. Nice knowing you. September is pretty much the perfect time to visit Iowa. The dog days of summer are behind you, and all you want to do is be outdoors. Because there's always something on the back of an Iowan's mind. But it is seriously funny the things you miss when you've been gone from your hometown for a while. Let me break this down for you. Number one, you got your Casey's, it's all good. This is the best looking thing we've seen in a long time. If you know, you know. Number two, Anderson Erickson dips and cottage cheese. Number three, you gotta get your Bebops. So I lost my ID back in April at a Walmart in Gilroy, California. So I've been driving around illegally, so 
Iowa DOT. Here I am. Apparently, I'm just gonna stick with the Iowa driver's license. I'd rather change it, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm legal. Why do they always make you look like you're a freaking criminal? I hate driver's license pictures so much. We kept our second vehicle with us, and I'm very glad that we did our first year. We've used it for scouting, exploring new locations, simple errands, and extreme fun. And it was an awesome safety net to have on the road in case something happened with the truck. But now that we understand this life a little better, we feel ready to part ways with our second vehicle. So we got the 4Runner shined up and put on the market. In the beginning, we weren't exactly sure if this life was going to be short term or long term. And for that reason, we got a storage shed in that little town. We are eliminating a bill for storage unit. We had it for over a year with all the stuff that we thought we would potentially need one day. It's time to shut that door. So, I'm going to close that chapter. We held on the storage unit for over a year. I don't know if that was smart or not, but. Well, it's tough to let go, you know, to be honest. I mean, did we know that we were gonna all right, we got one little trailer and another on the way. You ready for this? Are we ready? Therefore, we contacted an auction house and made arrangements to sell the contents. We had nice stuff, but it's all pretty easy to replace at the end of the day. All right, we got some work to do. So far, all this is going great. We're eliminating expenses, but now we have to address a giant RV in the room. After being on the road for more than a year, our living situation needs to change. Our Jayco has been a great camper for us, but the floor plan is something that we should have spent more time on. We need more living space and work options. So after a lot of thought, we made the decision to get something with the better floor plan. Before we get Johnny on the market, we need to correct a couple issues. Remember this year when I thought I had a bent axle and we were burning through all of those tires on the rear end? Well, this was the time to get it looked at once and for all. All right, guys, we are at um, Hilltop Tire Service, as you guys have known. We have had some kind of an issue going on with our tires, just not exactly sure what. Hopefully gonna get this bad boy fixed. And it turns out the axle was only out of alignment. We had the issue corrected, the wheel bearings packed, and I was back to pick it up the same day. Since we'll be listing Johnny out west, we needed to leave Iowa behind once again to complete our last repair with Johnny Walker RV in Las Vegas and to resume our nomadic activities. few trips with Johnny here we're gonna go take him up to Johnny Walker RV to get the awning replaced today we have this awning here and hopefully we can get in and out of Vegas uh, smoothly um, I think we're heading out at the right time for traffic so uh, yeah we are so ready to get the awning replaced so that we can get Johnny on the market Got Johnny dropped off with Ed at Johnny RV. Now with the awning complete, we put the finishing touches on Johnny. Next time on the freezes. The search for the rig becomes my new obsession, and we think we found one that'll work. 
today is a special morning. We're gonna go pick up, hopefully, our new home in Menifee, California. It's 4.30 a.m. We're excited to show you what it is and road trip begins right now. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we're completely overhauling the new rig with a new power grid, and I'm talking solar in a big way. Just how big? Bigger than you think. Darian and I want to thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel now, and we'll see you next time.